video we're going to take a look at how to utilize the hand-drawn fonts that are available in the pro level of hand-drawn whiteboard mega bundle and the monthly membership as well this is from the pro member <clears throat> this is from the pro membership level and this is the uh, scribbles 3d font and so uh, this is not available in true type or OTF or anything like that we have it in flash PNG and SVG you can import the SVG files into Flash, I mean into Adobe Illustrator, or you can create uh, something like uh, I'm about to show you and then export it as SVG and then import it into Illustrator. Uh, but here you go. So basically, I'm going to start by just doing a simple word like cool. And so what I would normally do is just go ahead and select the C and then the O and just the L as well, and all as one because those are the three letters I need. And I already did that and I created the word cool here see that I kind of sized it to fit. Now if you've seen the previous videos I've talked about where I've sized this already to 800 by 600 and I've added a background there because I want to import this into uh, Video Maker FX. And what I did is I just uh, added a simple uh, two-frame tween here. I started off with it being this size. I, I positioned and duplicated. I duplicated the O to make the second O. And I just kind of arranged, arranged them out and then uh, I turned them into a movie clip. Uh, I think I did. Yes, I did. And then um, all I did was I, I went to the first frame and I zoomed it down. I, I got it smaller, added a tween, and then in the properties panel here, I gave it. Um, let's see. If I click on the. There we go. If I click on the, the actual tween there, I can change it to rotate and I added. I made it rotate twice. And so it does a nice little. Fun little zoom into position there. And so you might do this with your, uh, your product title or uh, if you're wanting to add in a segue or something like that. And so you can use this in this way. And so I, I just if I publish this and I just have a simple SWF file, then I can go into Video Maker FX. I can add a slide. And you've seen me do this in other videos. And um, I just go ahead and remove that text there. get rid of the background and now I can import that animation into Video Maker FX and now I have a cool little slide that I made myself. Looks like I missed some text there. So there we go. Alright, now I have a nice little cool oh, spinning in animation. So I do want to show you that I also tried this with Video Maker, um, pardon me, e Easy Sketch Pro and you can see that I've got it in here, but what happens is that uh, it's not actually drawing anything to position. And I just wanted to show you this because Easy Sketch Pro can currently be kind of overwhelmed. Uh, with all those lines, there's a lot of dots and everything, and it just it's not able to kind of handle it right now. Um, I think this is kind of an early phase, and uh, I bet they'll you know, kind of make it to uh, that, where that'll work, but it might be that some of these fonts will not be able to work. Um, some of the fonts that we have may not be as complex as this, and they may be able to work. I would just go ahead and give it a try. It's not that hard, as we've seen in previous videos, to go ahead and export these out. And so, there's. Uh, anyways, uh, hopefully that will they'll take care of that soon. But uh, you can certainly use it with um, Video Maker FX with no problems, and other programs, of course. So have fun with that.